In this generation, we are seeing ladies pursue men and proposing to men. <laughs> oh, you're ready. Is there anything wrong with a strong-minded woman pursuing a man? Could you pursue a man? I want to say... If we still date. That's not the issue. Come on, man. Like, it's a text message. You don't know how she took it. That's the problem. That's the answer right there. Anthony responded incorrectly. I got a question. <laughs> what? And I'm going to lay this out there. For one, I think the video was hilarious. So I need to step up just so I can please her. Could you pursue a man? I want to say I couldn't do it. I, and I think that. Sometimes it's so natural to want to, to be like, okay, well, let me help you. Like, let me just get to the point. Let me, but something that I've been especially learning recently mm -hmm. is like um, from married couples and even from my mom, she's just like, whatever you start doing, mm -hmm. it's going to be 10 times out of marriage. And so unless you want to continue this, then you need to start, like, because then guys get used to it. And however you start in the beginning, they'll be like, wait, you changed. Or wait, you didn't ask me this before. So why are you asking me to do this now? Like, I just don't want to even get into all that. So I'm just mm. like, how about you start off? Mm. And I'm going to practice letting you do your work. Mm. And then I'll meet you halfway, but we need to start something. Because I've been told, like, well, like, I'm so direct. So I'm like, this is what it is. Let's not waste time. But then when you've been shut down, when you've done that so many times, or have been taught from even, not even men, but like other women that, hey, that's not the way to do it. You need to do this. It's just like, well, how can I be straightforward and get to the point and understand, you know? I'm not crazy about it. I'm not proposing to no man. I'm not, mm-mm. All you gotta do is just, like my, my aunt, she says, you light the fire, and if they match the fire, then that's cool. If they dims it, you kind of match it so y'all are like always ebbing and flowing with each other versus, let me keep flaming this thing, let me keep, and he's like, <laughs> like, you know? So you don't mm. wanna be trying to work it and ignite it when, and then you're doing all this work for no reason. I think deep down, women wanna be pursued. I, I've, do you think all women want yeah. to be pursued? Mm -hmm. Is there is there something wrong with a woman clearly showing she's very much so interested? What does that, that look like? Pursuit? No, I wouldn't say that's pursuit. What would you know, that look it's like? Just, it just looks like you showing a genuine interest in that person. Yeah. How does that look to well, you? Yeah. Like, what does yeah, a woman no clearly idea. showing interest look like to you? Looks. Well, how do, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> The line is so blurred. You know, guys say they, they, they said, oh, you know, we need something. But then what they described was being pursued. What does a man do to you that shows that he's interested in you? He compliments me on my appearance. Mm -hmm. He compliments me on who I am at the core of my being. And he asks me out. Mm. <laughs> like that's So take, I think, take one take of those, those yeah. is, is a man being interested. Because I think a gentleman will compliment you on your beauty. And I think a man would compliment you just in general. Mm -hmm. I think the asking you out is definitely that. Because I think, man, we get in trouble. You look beautiful. Oh, man, you was amazing today. Oh, he's trying to holler. No, I wasn't. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. I was just trying to be a gentleman and just compliment <sighs> you. Major. And se I'm serious. Like, yeah. I've had that so much with me. I'm like, you're beautiful because you are. But I'm like, I mean, I should be able to say that in a respectful way. Mm -hmm. uh, so the last one. I think that's a man trying to holler at you. Do you think that in the light of the Me Too movement that that has shifted a little bit? I feel like guys are less prone to say things like that now because they're scared no, that they're really. going to get called. Misinterpreted. Yeah. I think in the corporate space, yeah. But I mean, out if I'm just out there, no. No, if I'm out and I see you at, at an event or um, at a party or out at dinner and I say, man, you look beautiful today. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I've definitely done I, that. I do that. All the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Honestly. And like, not even trying to approach it. Exactly. exactly. And I make sure it's known, like, hey, you know, I'm not trying to come off too forward or like I'm trying to approach you or pursue you, but I just want to compliment you today. Mm. Because there's nothing wrong with that. Because honestly, I just feel mm -hmm. like a lot of women need to hear that. Mm -hmm. Or you know, you need to want to hear that. Yes, you know, me too. On, yes. on a regular because yes. I mean it is it is nice. So yeah. It shouldn't have to be a significant other you hear that from all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you something from a man's perspective, when you see a woman that you don't even know and she just looks amazing, sometimes you just want to say something. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you she may be out of your league or whatever it may be, I don't shoot know. Shoot your but shot, brother. I just shoot your shot. <laughs> but, but you know, but it goes back to understanding like reality. Mm -hmm. we, we operate within reality. And reality is we are good guys mm -hmm. sitting in this room. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. every one good guy, there are five terrible dudes 
Yeah. Mm. So how many other terrible dudes have told her she looked good today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might be that last dude she see today and she don't want to hear that no more. You know what I'm saying? So we have to look at it from both angles. And I mean, I'm not telling you not to speak on how you feel, mm -hmm. but you got to also, I mean, you got to understand both sides of it. So yeah. I, I'm just that type of person where I, I'm very calculated in the moves I make. Yeah, she may but, not even be approachable yeah, at the you moment. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I read body language. I mean, you, you guys say y'all are trainers. Yeah. I've been a trainer for 15 years. From the moment somebody walk in the door, I know their body language and it tells me something. So it's, I mean, yes, speak to the young lady, but if she walking through there trying to take them high heels off, <laughs> she don't care about your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, that's just, that's just my observation of the situation. I would like to answer your initial question. Yeah. As somebody who I've been told can be intimidating, I think I will probably have to pursue on a certain level because, first of all, men aren't pursuing me, and that could be for a lot of reasons. But I've, I've been told that for a man to feel comfortable in pursuing me, that he would want me to say something. And so I don't know what pursuit looks like necessarily, but I think that I'm going to be forced to actually let somebody know, hey, I'm interested in you, without sounding like a dork and saying, hey, I'm interested in you. So, But is that pursuit? I don't know. Deep down inside, guys want to be pursued too. Exactly. No. Whoa. Who? Mm. No. Speak for hey, no. I, 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 I won't necessarily say that guys hey, want to no, be pursued. I, I, I don't hey, mind. No, bro. No, I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I, I know where you're going with you. I I'll just, I'll just want you to not throw subliminals my way. Exactly. All the time. Like, you want to throw hints, yeah. throw something direct. Let me know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Give an example yeah. of what that looks like, because we don't know. Okay, so a lot. Okay, that's pursuit. Huh? That's not pursuit. Yeah, it is. Pursuing it is, is you, you're coming for me. He's saying, yo, she's saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, she says, yo, you're handsome. I would love to get to know you a little bit more. That's right. clear. That's not your forward? That's true. No, that's, that's, that's not, not pursuit to you? That's, that's, that's not, not pursuit. Really? Because once you do that, you leave it up to me to exactly. pursue. Exactly. She opened the door. No. She initiated the yeah. interaction. She didn't that's open the pursuit. door, no, bro. No, no, she no, just no. unlocked it. Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to so, open the door. So and now walk what through. I do with that information is, oh. is up to me. Exactly. I don't have to pursue that her after pursuit. that. That's but what, that's, if I'm I choose you, to do the, that, that now, that's the day. now I it. can court her if I choose to. So in exactly. that situation, you're saying that is a good thing for a woman to do. For Absolutely. That doesn't yeah, feel fair. Like, if you, if you come, come after, after me, me I'm a, I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm not going to feel like a man. Like, because I was created to hunt. You know, what does that's coming biblically. after someone look like? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, so, the, yeah, do that what whole is, conversation of, you're handsome, I'd like to get to know you. Do the version of that that's pursued. Yes. Yes. Cool, great. In my DM. So hey, when can we go on that date? Okay. Okay. So actually um, making the plan. Like yeah, she's 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 doing all of the talking, trying to initiate it, right. and I'm like y'all, uh, mm -hmm. or not responding. Okay. Like she's coming. Just just in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, you know. This is not y'all's. I'm just saying, be clear because I think in this generation, men we when it comes to dating, we get it we get it the worst because. If I say you're beautiful, thank you. And Mandisa <laughs> is who I'm interested in two months down the road, when, she, when I say, Mandisa, you're beautiful, I wanna go out with you, you you're away. gonna be like, you, but you just flirted with me oh. a month ago. Exactly. Where and so then now, because it's like, we can't even, it's like we get it the worst, so we wanna know, all right, bet you are interested. All right, cool. I'm interested too. What does this look like? Let me take the lead. I was shocked to hear from the male perspective that some guys are actually open to women pursuing, but to an extent, like hearing how a woman can still show a bit of interest or show a little bit of initiation um, while le letting them do some work versus, oh, I'm just gonna hide in my little bubble and wait for him to notice me where he's like, okay, she's complimenting me, but I don't even know if that's interest, you know? So in our head, we're like, hey, we're hinting, but you're not knowing anything. But brothers, y'all got it good because y'all talk. Oh, he tried to holler at me. Oh, he said last week that I was beautiful. Oh, he liked my picture on IG. Mm. And so it's like with us, no, we were just trying to be gentlemen and wow. admire your beauty. Exactly. Am, I, am I wrong? Am I right, no. brothers? What, what no, you you're right. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 I think there are, first of all, the world is filled with beautiful women. Right. So just and because I either. compliment you does not mean that I want to pursue you, marry you, have none of that. Mm -hmm. I'm just admiring what God gave you. Okay, that's it. 
We can move on from that. Mm. Like it's, now, like I said, nothing wrong with you telling a man, I think you're handsome. I like the way you dress. Those compliments, okay. She, she's, she's. That's you know, subliminal though. interest. So wait yeah. a minute. So when a woman says to you, I think that you're handsome, you think that's subliminally her saying I'm interested in you? No, but no, no. That compliment that woman? is nice, but yeah. it's not yeah. clear. You're right. It's not clear as well. Yeah, that's not clear. No, what I'm saying is. Bad interactions yeah. with women. Yeah, because like, that compliment meant all the time. I feel like from a man's perspective, if a woman told me, because I get a lot of women who tell me you have some nice smelling cologne, mm -hmm. you know, and I would say thank you. And if I wanted to run with that, so I'm initiating her saying, you know, thank you. Um, and you know, give her a compliment and initially start a conversation to actually lead to like a date or something that could happen. But then, what if somebody's 50 years old coming and oh, you have some nice men cologne? <laughs> We're not even thinking about age or just you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you're right. So, um, yeah. one of my mentors says pursue. She said, or he said, pursuing someone is not just about making plans. It's plans, it's about how you have intentions about asking them questions about who they are. Mm. So to me, when I'm trying to decide and trying to sort out, is someone pursuing me? Mm. I'm not just looking if he's making plans. I'm looking if he's asking me questions when we're across the table. Mm. Uh, and, but you also have to give women a little bit of credit that all, without men always asking out or all the other messages, all we can do is collect those, yeah. like you said, and go, okay, he said these four things yeah. to me. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. I'll just hold it loosely. Mm -hmm. But he didn't treat me like we're bros. Mm -hmm. And I'd never met him before, so so I'll follow yeah. him on IG. Mm. Yeah, you know. So mm. I, so I think it's a little mm. bit mm. the what I hear you say is you've had experience with women who misunderstood what you were doing, mm -hmm. and that's totally fair. Mm -hmm. uh, healthy women would say we collect the experiences and we mm. wait and see what you do with them. Yes, mm. but we notice yeah. versus going oh none of that meant anything. Yeah. It's going like well Anthony said those four things and did that one thing. Mm. All right, I'm here. So I understand what you're saying as far as men and women pursuing each other. I do have a question. You said that, you know, typically you would like to be pursued as mm -hmm. women, um, just because that's that's nature. But do you think that there is a fear of rejection there for mm -hmm. women? And, uh, do, and you, do you fear being rejected by a man, so therefore you will not pursue him because you don't want to face that? Yes, probably. Yeah. Now, why is that a problem when men face rejection every day? Yep. Not a problem. Why is that yeah. such a fear for you? If you know he can very well pursue you or try to, you reject him, and he's supposed to take it as, okay, it's what it is, brush it off, on to the next. Why is it such an issue for you? I don't to think that's that? stopping I'm women from asking. <laughs> I'm asking. Men out. I'm just yeah. asking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody fears rejection. I don't right. think that's why women don't ask men out. That's right. not the. That's not high on the. When when girls sit around and talk about men, nobody's going, "Wow, well, I would have called him," but I'm super. I, I I don't want him to say no. That's not. It's not. A th my friends don't talk about that, do y'all? Mm -mm. We aren't talking about the fear of rejection when it comes to asking men out. We're going like, I want him. Mm -hmm. to ask me mm -hmm. to do that. I think it comes down to how we view dating. Like, are we only viewing it for the reward mm. or are we viewing it for the process? I think when the guys start voicing some of their fears going into relationships, I was like, that's really brave and vulnerable of them to say. Because I feel like that's something that not a lot of guys will voice. If anything, they mask it with this like macho man, like I'm just not pursuing you because I'm not into you type of thing where it's actually, from what they were saying, it's like, no, it's actually a certain level of fear of like, I don't want to commit myself to the point where I'm saying these things and then not, not able to follow through. That's a good question. Yeah, let's a really like good let's question. answer that Elizabeth. question. Yeah. How good. do we view dating? Yeah. Like, how does that look for us hmm. when it comes to dating? I'm definitely looking for a reward at the end. I don't like yeah. wasting my time. Yeah. And, and what's the like reward? I, the reward is marriage. That's the end goal. I feel like you should date for marriage, like anybody that you date, what, what's the purpose of dating if you not, if you just looking to have fun, mm -hmm. if that's what you're looking to go out on dates for, I mean, mm -hmm. that's cool, but the end goal, you've spent a lot of time with people, all these different energies, you may be having sex, you may not be having sex. What are you creating? Mm -hmm. Toxic energy over time, and as a man, and me personally, it, you just get to the point of, you, are, you don't wanna continue to feel used like that. You mm -hmm. using yourself, continually because when you start to add sex in with all these different people, I mean, that affects your energy. If you one of yeah. those people who big yeah. on that, you know. Yeah, that's spiritual. Yeah. So I have a question. Is dating the same as a relationship? No. No, no, sir. No. Yeah, because so I don't know if I date for marriage. 
Exactly. If I had more time to really think about that, I would have thought about it because I know that it was some disagreements on my end because some people date, you know, just to date, not really looking for something bigger, right? Because dating is two different things from a relationship. Because when you really break down the word dating, it's, it's data. And it's like, I'm, I'm, I, I am obtaining data to see if you are the woman that I want to pursue and mm -hmm. court mm -hmm. to now talk about marriage. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, when I, when I hear you say dating for marriage, I'm like, ah. Right. Dating is, I want to know, okay, can we share energy? Do right. we have the same goals? Can we go somewhere? So I'm like, when I ask the question, what does dating mean? Because I think ladies look at dating differently from guys. And then I look at dating totally different from everyone. I'm like, yo, let's go on a date. But it doesn't mean that I'm saying that I, I want to be with you. Or you're the only person yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dating. Exactly, yeah. Well, I say, I, I can't, can you date more than one woman? <laughs> Clearly. Can you? That's what I want to hit on. Hold on, hold on. So this is what I want to hit on. And I want to hit on. Okay, on camera, dog. I'm going to go see it. My mama going to see it. I can't see. I need both y'all to answer how. I am oh, emotional. Like, I right. can't date more no, than one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so uh -oh. you got two. You you got openly dating, right? When you're dating multiple people at a time, okay. and you got exclusively dating when you're just dating that one person. That has to be communicated from mm -hmm. the beginning. So once y'all go on that first date, mm -hmm. if it's jumping into a next date, you can either ask that question, "What are we doing?" or you can just go on a second date. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people look for titles. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's not the most important thing. Get to know that person before it first. Before we establish something. So it's a friendship. Why is, yeah. there has to be a friendship? Why doesn't it, why can't it just be two people going out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mind goes to know each other. Why does it have to be a label already? Because brings security for me. I'm like, I want to understand Ooh. what this is. I want to have clear understanding so that I don't misinterpret okay, anything. Okay, so we can handle that after the first date. All right, so we going on the second date. No, no, no. So we going on the second date. It's data. Yeah, yeah. We connected. We connected. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So if we going, if we going on our second date. It's friendship to me. Are we already having a conversation? So hey, is it just me and you dating each other, or are we dating other people? I would already go ahead and communicate. Hey, you know, I'm not really dating anyone else right now. I took a, you know, interest in you because I asked you out on a date. If you would like to go out on a second date, we can definitely do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then y'all have this exclusive thing going on. And then if you continue to date that person and eventually want to get into a relationship, see, because that's the next phase, jumping into a committed relationship, you don't never want to feel obligated, you know, in a relationship. You, mm -hmm. know, you want to feel like you can mm -hmm. still be free, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So as soon as you add in the relationship title and that committed commitment, you don't have to still feel obligated because you're not married. You just decide to commit to that person, right? Do labels so, make? I want to know here from the guys. Do, do labels make y'all feel uncomfortable? Or yeah. like titles? Yeah. Or like, yeah. like is this friendship? Is this this? Or if she calls you homie, or if she calls you boyfriend. bro, or boyfriend when we just know each other for two weeks. Don't call me a boyfriend because I'm not a boy. And I'm not just. I'm not just a friend, right? Mm. Or if she calls you friend. Wait, so what do you want her to call you when you're her boyfriend? So like my ex fiance, I never called her my girlfriend. I called her, that's my lady or that's my woman. Okay. Because I, I, I'm not dating a girl. I believe in what I speak is what I see. Mignon taught me that. And so whatever I say, like you're not a girl. And none of y'all in here are girls. And you're not just my friend. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes men, the reason why we have so much cheating because he was treating you like his girl friend. Mm -hmm. Not like his woman, not like his best thing potentially. And so for me, don't, don't, I hate titles from that perspective because you're going to treat me like your, like your man, like your, your husband-to-be. And so, but I don't have a problem with titles. I have a problem of when I get a title or mm. when I feel like I'm being forced Into to it. have a title. Or... Let me leave, okay? okay? Mm. Like, let me leave. And if I'm not moving as quick as you want me to move, ex communicate that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, where are we going? Uh, let's, let's have a conversation. And if I'm not ready to have the conversation, you got to respect that. And if and if you're ready to have that conversation and I'm not, then I got to respect the fact of your response if you bounce. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think brothers are not, I don't think we're scared of titles. I just think we don't want to feel like we're being forced mm -hmm. and pressured into titles. And I'll say mm -hmm. it on camera. I felt as if I was forced into my last engagement because I dated her for a very long time. And she kept bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up. I was like, all right, I may as well just do it because I don't want to waste her time because I want to be a good man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
And so I just think, guys, we, we want to lead. We never want to feel like we're being forced to lead. I, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, look, I looked at your question when you say you date for that, that marriage. And my thing is, I'm a firm believer that God puts people in your life for reasons. Because mm -hmm. I've dated a girl who it didn't work out. But five years down the line, hey, you still training? Oh, I got somebody over here big time. All right, so Beth, here, here go a question. Here go a question. Yep. He asked you, you said no. Uh huh. A year later, he asked Mandisa. He asked Simone. Yeah, this town's know each too other. small. It's, gonna, it's fine. Everybody's like to everybody else. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. And you all wouldn't care. If it's <laughs> no, this, I mean, huh. there's just not enough. Are you serious? There's okay. just not Dang, enough. We're on camera. You, I can't say that. You can say it on camera. What you mean? I, I want uh, to date to the guy. Okay. <laughs> Go there. <laughs> if there's a situation where, oh man, mm. come on, so if, there, <laughs> if there's a situation where. I think it's the situation. Yeah. yeah. If I'm bringing my girl around, we all in the big happy family, and all of a sudden me and my girl start having problems. Yeah. But then I find out she's talking to him. Yeah, that's right. different. That's, that's, different. Different. Okay, that's, that's different. different. That's different. <laughs>